Actually, hang on, let's change what I'm wearing for this video. It's go time. Do you guys want to kickstart your Foot22 team off with a bang? Head over to movefactory.com for the cheapest, most safe, and reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order and get yourself some Foot coins to boost your team right now. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the title, we are here today with a new Champs challenge and i think the outfit's on point for this video i can't lie i think it's probably one of the best outfits we've had for a video ever so today we're going to be using a full afro team in foot champions like i said throwing back the years move the mic out the way this is like retro fellaini he used to wear this kit back in the day I f you know i'm feeling it let's let's put me alongside fellaini and let's see how similar we look Pretty alike, I reckon. Pretty alike. And the reason I decided to do the challenge this week was because of one thing and one thing only. The Rule Breakers Fellaini objective. Just look at the card, man. 88 pace, 87 dribbling, 84 shooting, 80 defending, 77 passing, 80 physical. It's actually ridiculous. Like, it's throwing back the times. The absolute menace he was at United. He's going to be, hopefully, insane for us in a game of champs. But obviously, we can't just have Fellaini as the Afro player, so we're going to have another 10 Afro players alongside him. Maybe some subs as well. You know, we've got to throw... Maybe some, We want as many Afros involved than this team as possible. So we're going to go ahead, claim Fellaini first, build around him, then play a game of foot champions and hopefully bring the win back for the, you know, the bush heads themselves, if that's what you can call them. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. All right, first things first though. Welcome to the club, Rule Breakers Fellaini. Where's the Afro? Oh, there he is. Look at him. You know what? Nearly identical outfits if I put the new United kit on, but wouldn't feel the same nostalgia wise because, you know, he actually repped this kit back in the day. But the man is ready to captain a side. Let's now go build the rest of the team around him and uh, hopefully... It can be just as good as this man right here because he is looking insane. Apart from not having the afro on his actual picture now and he's actually cut it in real life. But still, he's in games, got the afro. That's all we care about. Mara Fellaini, you're the love of my life. All right, so over onto FIFA now to build the rest of the squad. The centerpiece is there and ready. Let's go and get the rest of the afro boys around him. First player up joining the afro team. I actually packed this guy the other day, so it's actually kind of, once again, just perfect. It's written in the stars that we had to use this team. But the striker for this team is none of other Mr. Icon, Hugo Sanchez. I think his mid-card has a bit of a bigger afro, but it counts still, right? It still counts. He's got an afro, and he's got a nice card, you know, apart from the three-star skills. We're liking it. Next up, getting their place in this team is, not up for debate, his Belgian partner, an afro man himself. It's none of a, the Mr. Axel Witzel, as you can see. Sadly, not one of the best starting cards he's ever had in the game. I can't lie, like, his pace in that is not great, but the afro's there. That's all we care about. And now we're going to complete off the midfield three, the central midfielders, with with another absolutely incredible afro. Mr. Hamza Chowdhury. Look at the afro, man. That is one incredible afro. Nearly as good as this one that I've grown on my head. All right, so we complete the midfield and we've got a striker. We may as well go and complete the rest of the attack as well. So our left winger of choice for the afro team. Not the biggest of afros, but it is indeed Mr. Felipe Anderson. You know, small afros matter as well, okay? So we've got to throw him in. Then on to the right side. I don't think there's really much debate for this. I feel like this guy's got to be in the team as he's probably literally the best playing in the world right now, if not one of the best. It's none other than Mr. Mohamed Salah. Even as a United fan, I've got to admit, this guy's like ridiculous right now. And also, he's got the afro. It's a little bit harder to see because of the gold in form, but he has got an afro. You'll see it in game, don't worry. Okay, midfield and attack has now been completed. Now on to the defense and goalkeeper. Left back, there's no choice. We all know who this left back's going to be. He is the afro king at left back for the last 10 years. He's a little bit older now, but it is Mr. Marcelo at left back with a five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Then on to his first defensive partner. That is indeed, once again, a good timing card. Rule breakers Dante with an absolutely incredible card and also incredible afro you know what this is literally the perfect time for an afro team it actually is and then his partner in crime as the other center back and a nice strong link actually we've got road to the knockouts marquinhos look at that card and a little bit of a small afro but like i said earlier small afros count as well okay so we, we've got to put them in and then onto the right back a nice little strong link to the boy hamza chowdhury it's none other than mr trent alexander arnold rule breaker as well you know what i'm actually looking at this and rule breakers seem to love the afro players like it actually did it's, it's coming as solid for this team i can't lie all we need now is a goalkeeper i don't think there's many choices in terms of goalkeepers by the way so we've got the classic achoa 
who I don't know if he has an afro nowadays, but it's the closest thing to it in terms of goalkeepers. So he's got to be in there. Like I said at the start as well, we've got to have a few subs with some afros and there's a few people I want to include here. So we've got Leroy Sano, who sadly doesn't actually have an afro anymore, but in game he does. We've got Tahith Chong with an absolutely outstanding afro and then Jules Kunde. Okay, so the afro team has been completed. So that means one thing and one thing only. It's time to get into a game of foot champions with it. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. I mean, we've got a lot of players off chemistry. I can't lie. But luckily, chemistry doesn't matter when you've got an afro because that is already taking chemistry on your head, isn't it, really? Let's be honest. So what we'll do is we'll go find ourselves an opponent. When we find the opponent, I'll meet you guys there. So I'll be back in a sec and let's see what the afro team can do. We have found ourselves an opponent. Look at Chowdhury on the left. Oh my God. And his team is not a bad one at all. He's got a little bit of an afro guy, you know, in that midfield. He quite doozy. We like it. But can it be the full afro team? That's the real question. Let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. Afros everywhere. Oh, look how many afros are on this pitch. This is brilliant. Oh, Vitzel, that's not a good start. Well, you know what? We've got solid centre-backs. I've got faith in the defence. Manuel Fellaini, look at him. The main man, the captain, the maestro of this team. Mamed Salah into Sanchez. Hugo Sanchez. Defeat. Defeat. Hugo Sanchez. Oh, he's left-footed, isn't he? The one thing I'd love to do in this game is score a header with an afro player. That is the dream. Oh, that's a ball. That's a ball. That's a ball. And Acho has not done much with it at all. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Let's, it's, you know, we'll regroup and hopefully pull it back. Come on, Fellaini. You need to pull, pull this team together, boy. Fellaini doing his defensive duties. Here we go. Come on. Let's get a bit of attack together here. Vitzel, we need a good pass here. We need a good pass. Hugo Sanchez, make a run. He's not making a run. Vitzel's going all the way here. Into Hamza Chaldry. Oh, Van Dijk's in the way. That's a ball. That's a ball, but keeper's got it. Oh, Choa. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. Get the ball. Marquinhos. Good block. Mohamed Salah, surely he's got a bit, of, a bit of a space to work with here. He's got Andy Robertson on him. He's going to try and cut inside. He's still got the ball. He's going to cut back inside again. Oh, Robertson, go home. Oh, Fellaini fighting for the afro. Hugo Sanchez. Oh, the AI block. Anderson. Oh, that was so close. He nearly scored a bicycle kick. Oh, my days. All right, first chance to score with an Afro guy. Oh, wait, why the hell is Fellaini taking the corner? We do not want that. Get Fellaini on this near post now. Marino Fellaini, come on. Fellaini, near post. Fellaini. Oh. Fellaini in the middle. No, it's gone to Salah. Oh. All right, attempt number two for Fellaini to score a header. Fellaini, he's got it again. Back post. Bang. Oh. Felipe Anderson's done well. Here we go, Hugo Sanchez into Salah. Salah with the green finesse shot. Oh, good save. Trent. Trent's got to deliver this nice, surely. Trent Alexander-Arnold into Marano. Fellaini, the keeper's there to catch the ball. We're going to go near post here. Fellaini. He's got a bit of space, maybe. Oh, the keeper needs to go home, and It's half time. You know what? We've actually been the better team. That's the most annoying thing is that we've actually played better than this guy. He's literally knocked a few through balls and scored once off one of them. So, you know, we're not doing too bad. Maybe we'll bring the subs on. Maybe a bit of Leroy Sane down the left. See what they can do and get into the second half. All right, Leroy Sane's in. He's made the team. Let's bring him on. All right, second half. Here we go. Come on, the Afro boys. Uh-oh. 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 Trent, well played, lad. No, oh, I've turned back into him. I've turned back into him. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot sandwich. He's missed it. Hugo Sanchez, the dribbling. Hugo Sanchez, ball roll, ball roll. He's in shot. He's hit the crossbar. He's actually hit the crossbar. How has he done that? Oh, no. Dante's been done. Achoa. What a save. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a ball. Who is this? Oh, that's a sweat. He's actually just sweated it against an Afro team. This guy's got no shame, has he? He's just actually just sweated against an Afro team. What is he doing? Flame dog. Flame dog. Can he carry his team back to a possible... Come back. Sanchez, please. He scored this time. Okay. We have got 10 minutes of in-game time to pull this back to two or to go to extra time or even win. That's a beautiful play. The captain steps up. Maron Fellaini. We love it. Maron Fellaini. You're the love of my life. Maron Fellaini. Salah, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Down the byline. Down the byline. Over the top. Sane. Oh, if that was Fellaini in the middle. Fellaini, though. Fellaini. We need you to do something here. Fellaini. Oh, my God. Oh, what a save. He's done him. Salane! Oh! We might have one more chance here. One more chance possible. No, never mind. Ch Chowdhury bot with the pass. Oh, there we go then. We got so close to getting an equalizer there near the end. But, you know, I'm proud of the Afro boys. They put a shift in. All jokes aside, though, it was a bunch of fun using this Afro team. What I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments who do you think is the best Afro player currently on FIFA 22. Is it this Fellaini card or is it someone better? Actually, I completely forgot we probably could have used Maradona on this team and he probably would have had a big, big impact. So that was a bit of 
a stupid one for me. Uh, that's literally just come to my head. But like I said, let me know in the comments who do you think is the best Afro player on FIFA 22. Let me know also the next challenge you guys would like to see. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>